They gave me a Western Star to drive today. Big fancy truck. I have an office ride along today. So we've got a second pickup today. Got to fill up the rest of this trailer. I don't know what that's doing there. So we got Jenna behind the camera right now. She's a ride along from the office, watching me today. We got some of our freight coming around here.
We're all done with the ride along. I gotta bring a trailer into Winnipeg for some repairs. So I'm moving back into my truck for the afternoon. I missed her. Missed her. Did you miss me? No? So do any of you remember when I was in a Western Star just like this? This unit is 3087. I was in unit 3080. And Britt and I and our dogs went all the way up to Whitehorse Yukon in a truck identical to this. It's not the most spacious. The Western Stars have the smallest sleeper out of any of our trucks here. But they are still roomy. Like for one person it's plenty. But for uh, two people and a couple dogs it was a little bit squishy. Yeah, remember this? With the fridge up there. I spent like three years of my life. Two or three years of my life in a truck just like this. I miss it a bit. It's kind of nice to take one for a ride again today. So it was fun. I never get to go into the office really. And because of COVID now, I don't go in there at all. So it's hard for me to get to know anybody in the office. I found out that there's a lot of people in the office that watch my videos every single day. So big shout out to you guys. You know, we had sort of nicknamed this girl the mistress at first. The name's not really growing on me. I thought I might, you know, begin to like it more as time went on. I don't really like it. I think she's just uh, better off as the beast. Like, what do you think? She sounds like a beast. That's one of the reasons I wanted to jump back in this truck now. <laughs> I miss these pipes. <laughs> I wanted to sound like a truck. All right, let's go get, a, get this trailer. We're bringing in a roll tight trailer to uh, a trailer repair place in, in Winnipeg. I think it's getting refurbished just like that last one was that we had. I think, I don't know. I'm not in the know on these things. So Jenna works in the office in marketing. And uh, her and I work together uh, with these videos and also with the Keystone Western uh, social media pages. She manages those, I manage this. And together we're working together to build the brand up. And I can tell everybody where the best place to drive is, right? Right here. Man, we got all the roll tights back in the yard right now. Look at this. A whole bunch of them. I'm looking for 414. 414. That's this one right here. Oh, it's a step deck. Okay. I'm okay with that. I don't discriminate. I'll pull a, I'll pull a step deck. Why not? Up 
PJ pants, slippers. That's right. Hey, where's everybody else? Hello? Oh, you got two little wieners over here. <laughs> Is he hogging the whole bed? <laughs> hey, old grump. Who's this? Who's this? Diesel, everybody's been missing you. Everybody's been missing you. Can you do something special? Can you do a backflip or something for him? I don't know, man. I could probably hit. You think that would make him happy? It might. I mean, it's not a backflip, but can you sit? You mean that right now? Yeah, can you, can you sit? Yeah? Oh! Good job! Good job! Aren't you special? Hey, hey. Do you think Chevy is as good of a boy as you? Do you think Chevy's a good boy too? You think he could sit? Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Chevy! I want to see if you can sit as good as Chevy. I mean, as good as Diesel. No, no. Chevy, you gotta come over here. Do you think you could sit? Oh, wow, on the ball. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. I'm still Betty. I think he's jealous. It's probably all the fluff. He wishes he was fluffy like you. Oh, he's such a good boy. I wish I could take him to work with me. Chevy doesn't like rides as much. Every now and then he likes rides, but not as much as Diesel. Diesel grew up on the road with me. Uh, so I think it feels weird for him to stay home every day. But my my truck I'm in right now uh, isn't as big. It doesn't have a sleeper on the back. I don't think he would enjoy it. It would be very cramped in there, very hard for him to curl up on the seat. And I'm always in and out of the truck, and I'm not in the truck all day. Sometimes there's a few hours when I'm outside the truck, either loading the freight or helping out in the yard, or maybe like something completely different comes up and I gotta bring in, you know, uh, one of the highway trucks. Maybe I gotta bring one into the city. I've had to do that a couple of times. And what am I gonna do with him then? I can't just take him in someone else's truck. I'd have to leave him in the truck at work by himself. So nah, it's just, it wouldn't work to take him with right now. But if we ever go on a highway trip again, I don't know if we'll, uh, we might do the odd one here and there if they need me, but uh, probably, Probably not. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. Like, I'm not opposed to doing one now and then, but uh, I really I really like the position I'm in here right now, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, I think, and it's best that Diesel stays home because here he can, you know, play around with his brothers all day, run around in the yard, and have a lot more space and exercise. He's happy. He's a happy boy. He's just a little jealous when I give Chevy a little too much attention. Business as usual tomorrow again. I'm filming this a little bit in the future. It's the weekend here for me already. I'm trying to catch up with everything. I had to release all my videos a little later uh, this week and it sort of threw off my schedule uh, because of that car. <laughs> that was a nice car, wasn't it? But, oh well. It all worked out. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.